Hello everybody, I hope you're all coping well during lockdown. So I just thought I'd record this quick short video um, about making um, a fabric corsage. Um, it's uh, just a lovely little um, thing to do. It's suitable for all ages, so like kids can get involved in this, um, adults can get involved in this. Um, just looking for a little something to do or nice little gift ideas for any any ladies whose birthdays are coming up in lockdown. Um, obviously they're nice and light and easy to post as well. Uh, so we show you how to do it. So this is what we're going to be making today or a version of. So it's just a little sweet corsage. Uh, we're going to be doing one layer of fabric today. This one I have put a little sheer layer in between but I'll talk you through how to do that later. So the materials you're going to need is you're going to need a bit of paper, a pen, you need paper scissors and fabric scissors. I've also got small um, fabric scissors, but um, if you only got with one pair, that's absolutely fine. Um, I've got just this cotton reel of cotton. This is just, um, it's slightly bigger and we're going to need it to just draw around and cut out a shape later. A little corsage pin um, or a safety pin, a needle, just an off cut of felt. Could be, um, you could use a bit of your fabric that you were going to use anyway. Um, a reel of cotton that matches your fabric and then just a glass which we're just going to use to draw around our shapes. So um, in terms of what you're drawing around um, it just needs to be circular. There's no rules on um, the, how big or how small it should be. I'll probably say don't go maybe smaller than about two and a half inches diameter um, and then maybe up to about three and a half to four inch diameter here. So the one that I'm making today is actually slightly smaller um, than the sample one and this one's made out of silk dupion and some very sheer um, silk fabric. Today we're working with um, just some linen so you can you literally use any fabric that you have, um, any off cuts, old clothes, old bedding, um, we don't need much fabric at all so um, anything will do. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off by making our template. So I'm just going to move all of this out of the way. So we're going to start, we're going to take our glass and just draw around. Oh, don't haven't done that very well. <laughs> just draw around the bottom of the glass to give you a lovely circular shape. We can then get rid of the glass and we then, just using our paper scissors, we're going to cut out that round shape. There we go, so we have our round shape. What we can do now with that, we can get our fabric and we're just going to draw around that. We're going to need eight of these. Now if you want to, you can layer up the fabric. So you could do two different types of fabrics, uh, in which case what you'd need is you need to cut out 16 pieces and then layer them together so that um, you have little bundles of each different type of fabric together. So I have um, already cut out these for the sake of the video um, but so I just cut out the one for you now um, but do feel free to pause the video at any point to catch up with where we are at this is why I pre-recorded it rather than did it on a live so you didn't have to just sit there and watch me cut out loads of circles so I'm just doing this one with a single layer of fabric so I'm just going to need the eight discs. There we go. So we have our circles there. Once you've cut out all eight, here we go, you'll have eight little circles like that. Um, and then you just pair that. If you had another fabric, you just pop the two fabrics on top of each other. So you've still got sort of eight sections, so to speak realizing how much black dog hair there is on everything so sorry about that <laughs> um right so what we're going to do now we're going to go back 
to our paper template because actually we need to adjust the template a little bit more. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then fold it in half again. So we've got sort of almost a little like cone shape. We're then just gently going to cut a nice curved shape. the kitchen so there's not paper scissors. Um, so we're going to do a nice curved shape in the top and get rid of those little bits. So when you open it out you end up with a little heart shape like that and when you open it out again you get a little flower shape. So I've actually got a slightly stronger template here um, just because we use them all the time so I'm going to be using this um, going forward but it's essentially exactly the same so if you're wondering why my template changes colour uh, that is why. So you get each disc, you then just fold it, don't worry if you've still got some pen marks. When we're doing the cutting of the rest of the shape all of those pen marks or pencil marks are going to disappear so we're going to take our shape Fold it again into the eight pieces, so in half, in half, and then in half again. Get our template, line our template up, and then using our fabric scissors, we're just going to follow that around. So that when we open it up, we have a little flower shape. Now, if your fabric's really, really flimsy, what you could do, you could always um, stiffen it a little bit. You could use um, three parts water to one part PVA glue, uh, mix it all together, and then just brush it onto the fabric. And then when it's dry, you'll be able to use it. It just means the fabric won't fray so much. I know some fabrics are really notorious for fraying. Um, and it will just give you a little bit more body to your flower if you are using a very fine material. But it's not essential to do that. Not for this shape anyway. So we're just going to keep going and create all of our little flower shapes. So bear with me. Oh, let me fold that in half again. If you prefer, you could always just open up the template and cut around the whole uh, the whole template. Uh, it will take you a little bit longer to do that. Um, it might depend on the fabric or the finish that you are after um, as to whether you may want to do that at all. So you would just essentially open up your template and then you just cut in to all all the pieces there for the sake of the video again to not keep you on too long and to bore you all to death I'm going to just do it this way but the other way would work equally as well so obviously do feel free to leave any comments on the video as well if it's anything I've not explained very well or if I've missed out um, I'd be more than happy to go through anything with you. So I've got two more to do now. Trying to make sure that I stay within the camera screen as well while doing this, which um, I keep forgetting about. So it's not necessarily a huge case of being hugely accurate. The bigger your um, flower is uh, the sort of easier this is perhaps I chose a slightly too small a flower uh, for this this job but never mind we're here now so there we go we now have eight pieces all cut out just like that what we're going to do now we're going to find that little piece of felt 
or if you don't have any um felt, it can be craft felt um if you don't have any though um you can just use the same fabric that you used before or even a little bit of cardboard i'm going to get the felt i'm going to get this this is sort of the size of a, a 10 pence piece um or even you could go a bit smaller you could go to like a 20 pence piece just a small round shape we're just going to draw around uh, and then cut out this one's a bit more important that maybe you don't have any uh, pen marks visible so just going to cut that out there we go and that's going to give us the base for our flower so at this stage what we want to do we want to get our needle and thread threaded up so let me just find my thread there it is so i've got pink thread we want to cut a piece about 60 centimeters long and then we just want to thread the needle pull it all the way through so you get a double thread and then at the end you're going to tie there we go your two ends together so you're just going to do a double knot in the end there do a triple knot and just cut off the excess so what you have on your needle is you have a just a bit a big loop essentially that's knotted at the end so what we're going to do now, I'm going to grab our uh, petals and we're going to fold them into four. Now if you're using two layers of fabric, you just fold it with the two layers together. So fold it into four. We're going to put it into the center of our circle and we're going to start sewing. So we just want to come up. And down just to secure that we're going to get the next petal fold it in half we want the open sides to all be fed going in the same direction we're just going to line it up so you've got a sort of straight edge to straight edge and again we just sew that on so you want it to be securely sewn but we don't want to over sew it and we also don't want to go too far into the flower we want it to be right in the corner edges we go again, again, we do the folded side to the open side. And we sew it there. And again, your last one, so we do folded side to open side. And then down. That's the base layer of our flower done. All we're going to do now, the rest of the petals, we're going to do the same thing. Fold it into quarters. But this time we're going to put it across um, sort of the join of the other one. So we're going just like that. And we just do exactly the same thing again. So we're throwing through the felt at the back all the time here. Next petal, fold into quarters. Again, the folded side to the open side. Make sure you stay on the opposite angles to your layer below. I've never really recorded a video like this before, so apologies if it goes um, a little bit out of focus at times. Um, practice makes perfect, hey? So we're going to keep adding these in, so up and down. Then your last petal, again, fold it into quarters, put in your last gap, so again, open side to 
the fold to the fold folded side. And there we go. Now obviously we've got our flower here. We want it to sort of look a little bit more like it's got a bit of body to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the needle up from the back, straight up the middle. What we're going to do, we're just going to catch the top, top layer of fabric on each of the top quarters. Just catch a tiny little stitch, just so that we can pull all those bits together. Give us a bit more volume to the flower. So just that top layer to pull the needle in. Obviously, for the sake of the camera, I'm not necessarily doing this in the easiest manner. Um, but when you're not recording it, you'll be able to do that. And then what we can do, we can pull that thread nice and tight. And it essentially brings up all those petals. And then we put the needle back down. To the bottom. Okay, there we go. So I do have a little bit of pen mark left on the side here so I'm just going to give that a little quick snip. But essentially with a bit of fluffing up that's your flower. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it over. We can continue using the same thread. We're going to find our brooch pin or our um, safety pin. Open it up, place it on the back, and we're just going to sew, sew that on so it's nice and secure. Um, it doesn't really matter um, how you do this. Just make sure it's really secure. So I'm just going to go up and down a few times on the back and make sure. That it's nice and secure. Go coming up again. Be a little bit careful with felt. If you just try and slide it under the felt, the non-woven fabric, so it will just pull. Um, so you need to make sure you go deep enough into the felt. Fingers and thumbs. Okay. So that's nice and secure. I'm just going to just shut that corsage pin so I don't spike myself. I'm going to bring it through onto the felt here and I'm just going to finish off underneath and tie off my threads. Then we can cut that. There, turn it over, fluff it up again and there we go. We have a little corsage, we've got a bigger corsage, so you can really choose the sizes that you um, want to work with. But they're really sweet and lovely. If you've got some great pattern fabrics or different textured fabrics that you can mix together, um, they will also look wonderful. So enjoy, hope you enjoy making them. Leave me any questions or comments below and um, if you do make any then please do show us all your results we'd love to see them anyway take care and hopefully see you all soon bye bye